Greetings, hello and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi, this is episode number 11 coming at you. And for today's episode, we are going to be continuing along with uh, progress in and around the area where the Statue of Liberty has been placed. But I just actually got a little bit creative after I um, finished recording the last one. And I just did a little bit of off-camera stuff. I just kind of wanted to improve slightly on the things that we had been doing. Not that I didn't like them, but I just thought they needed a little, a little gentle helping touch, I guess. And I usually take a little bit too much time when I do this kind of stuff, so that's why I do it off camera. But what I ended up with, I'm really, I love the end result. So to kind of make our bicycle friends uh, not run out of energy by the time we make it up the hill here, instead of having that really steep, dramatic upward climb, what I did is implemented this cool corkscrew system. And that cuts back on the steepness of the slope right here. And I think it looks visually pretty fun as well. And we've used the same shape elsewhere in the city. So it kind of has the same look almost of like, you know, some of the roundabouts we've used. we got that little corkscrew kind of thing happening over here too. So I want to try and tie this in a little bit more often. And I think it should maybe help with the infrastructure kind of theme overall for the uh, for the city. Maybe tie in with the realness and that kind of stuff. But uh, overall, I really like it. And I was thinking we could uh, have another bicycle pass come, uh, path sorry uh, come right through here. Maybe slightly elevated as well and tie it in with the uh, concentric park that we're trying to build right here. And uh, maybe use use some unique buildings in through here too. I start doing that. But uh, I just got this little uh, neighborhood kind of just you know ready for for some quick zoning right here. So we at least have some people moving in while we're uh, working up here. But the uh, the thing for today's episode is to get some transit up through here to maybe change part of this over and to just kind of expand and think on outwards, you know. And uh, bonus points if we maybe do a little bit of metro planning too. I think we're starting to get to a uh, a point where we might maybe need. A small little starter metro line, maybe, sort of. We'll see. And if not that, then maybe just the the metro station itself, just to get us started. All right, on to the building, please. So I guess the first thing I want to do is uh, change this over so that it becomes a bike path, and then we can take the bikes uh, away from where a lot of the transit vehicles are going to be. And from like a real life standpoint, that would be very safe to do. And then from like a traffic standpoint, both in real life and in the game, it'll help like tremendously because we won't have to wait for all the bikes to kind of queue and passengers to go by and pedestrians and stuff. It'll just be more traffic over here and then hopefully walking and biking uh, along here. And then I think I want to change how the roads go in to where the uh, Statue of Liberty itself is. And then we'll probably end up putting, I think, a tram turnaround point in that spot. Let's change that. Excellent. And this gives us a chance to put down some more commercial right in here. And then that gives us a chance, of course, for some more uh, parking lots. And then, uh, due to the noise, I'm actually going to take these people out. And I totally should have thought of that before. Because if we look right now, see noise pollution, it's just starting to creep outward. And then, you know, since we're going to do it, let's just drop this down right now. If I were to put down the metro station itself, let's put that right in the corner. You can see the noise, yeah, there you go. You can see the noise that creates, right? So something we can do, because I still want to keep the residents here, I actually like the look of the green condos, is if we unzone this specific stretch right here, and if we make this into offices, the offices will act like a little bit of a sound cushion. A little bit of a sound buffer barrier, if you will. So let's change this pathway out. Just got some offices, make that look a little bit more professional. Just changing the profile shape of these, that's okay. And then maybe there's enough room to get a bit of a dirt path through here as well. I do like the look of it, especially integrated with uh, with that right next to it. Oh, we're so close, I think we can do it. Yeah, we can just do that, sure. And then when in doubt, we can always hide stuff with the tree, right? Yeah. We'll expand on that when we have a bit of uh, time left over at the end of the episode. But just in general, I do want to do an episode of just beautification, where we maybe go through and put down some like rocks and trees and just kind of the general stuff. Jazz up some more neighborhoods. Just uh, more, more kindling for the fire, essentially, right? And I'm not going to do that, obviously. 
So why does that not want to connect? Oh, there we go. So to give people a bit of room for the merge, let's of course move that further back. people enter. They got this whole stretch here to make their way over by one lane just in case they want to leave. And I think it's mostly transit vehicles that will be doing that and some of course traffic that's going to visit but I think we'll be okay here. Okay, I'm fine with that. And then speaking of transit we want trams to come in through here and I have a really just awesome idea for the uh, for the trams here. Okay, so trans pick up, drop off people on this side right here. And why not just double that up? We'll make the roundabout itself into uh, trams. Or add uh, tram tracks, I should say. And then let's turn this into a continuation of the one way kind of stretch. We'll bring the trams in like this, and I did uh, change the uh, the angle of this curve, so it's a lot just smoother. Traffic uh, kind of merges a lot more uh, smoothly. It's a faster flow overall as well. Anyway, so we're coming down with this, and we'll just connect up with that. Now we've got access to this little transit kind of corridor and shopping block, which is kind of cool. And someone has suggested a while ago to put in some cable cars, and I really want to have like a little cable car depot in here, and I want to maybe run some of that up the uh, hillside. Then we can get people up and down the hills with cable cars, get them to either a metro stop or a tram turnaround point, and then from there they can get a little bit further in the city with uh, with transit. And it's a shame we don't have like a little bike, you know, bike rentals stalls or something like that, because I would put those kind of there too. And maybe taxis too, we don't actually use taxis all that often. Over the course of, the, I want to say years now, but I've had so many people ask me why I never use taxis. And the simple answer is I literally forget. I, they're part of After Dark, they look really handy. When you're over in your transit areas, I mean, look how cool this looks. I don't know why I don't use these more often. So put one there. I don't want to kill these, um, uh, what are they called? Little market stalls. It's kind of fun though, but yeah, look at this. It almost looks like it's got uh, you got a waiting area as well. So a few of these here and there. You have to have a depot down. Uh, the people waiting here will kind of call for a cab. Cab gets sent from the depot, picks up the people, and they head in town. That's kind of cool. So we'll use those more often. I promise. At least I'll hopefully remember. Right now, even let's put some down before I forget again. And it's not just the tourists that will use them. It's um, your Sims as well. And of course, in real life, there's taxis everywhere, so you want to add that realism factor too, right? And then maybe over here by this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, super fun. And I can't help myself, another spot for a tree. Boom, bonus two trees. Okay. There we go. So we've got a place now for potentially buses, I guess, can use this as well. Trams coming in through here. My thought, though, is if you're a tram and you're coming in and you're just making a stop here and maybe continuing onward, this is a fairly large detour to have to go through the roundabout, go in, through the roundabout again just to leave. So I want to have a separate little area here for the trams. And I have this crazy thought of maybe having an elevated tram corridor or something make its way through here as well and then just like I don't know not land but like make its way back down to ground level and connect back up somewhere over here actually yeah let's let's think this through for a second so if we did this and then if we brought trams only across like that and then if we maybe came out like that and then elevated and ran close to here, we could... Yeah, okay, let's do that, sure. That actually sounds kind of cool. Just so it looks like it's um, a bit more of a bridge and we get the pillars, or the guardrails, whatever you want to call them, 
alongside. Let's do that. So I elevated it just by one click by doing it. And I would like this to go, I think, down the center if that exists. Oops. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Right? Yep, not too steep. And, oh boy. A roadblock has been presented. Oh, it just seems like the uh, pillar wants to spawn in the middle there, so it's a spacing issue. Cool. Let's raise this by one click upwards. Beautiful. And if we redo this as one long segment, that would probably make it look smoother, and it does. Excellent. Okay, great. I don't think we need a uh, traffic light or anything over here. What I will do, though, is I'm going to actually add the stop sign for trams incoming this direction. I don't want them to kind of just move in, hang out, and just be blocking this when the lights uh, hasn't changed yet. And then we need trams now going just back down this way. And this is going to head towards the other transit hub thing that we've made. And then just kind of going for transit, in case you guys are just kind of curious as to what the overall game plan is. And just maybe a little segue into transit it itself right now. In our city specifically, we're going to be using just like every form of transit available. And what we're offering for our sims, if they're going, let's say for example you work down over near uh, Throckram Square, or sorry, you live over here, and you work over in the industrial sector, you theoretically have the option of getting there by bus, by tram, eventually by metro, even by train eventually. But it's logical to think that you would probably want something that moves very fast, that covers, you know, large distance, rather quickly type thing. So you'd probably take a train or a metro. So we would have a metro corridor go through. You don't have to stop anywhere, you just take it the whole way down, right? But if you maybe, you know, lived here and worked closer, you'd probably stick to a, um, a tram, right? Maybe you don't even need the metro. So you can use your metro for long distance travel. You can use your trams and your buses for kind of the short distance and also getting uh, people to your metro stations. And the same kind of thing applies to the trains. If you want to use trains a lot, have your train stations spread far apart, use them to kind of cover large distance within the city and have your tram surface vehicles as kind of the, the ground links in between and to get people into those stations itself. And of course, to get people, you know, out of their cars and like, you know, off the roads and everything like that, just walking and biking and stuff, it's a better approach really for traffic. Same with transit and trying to design a better uh, road layout. So that's kind of our overall game plan here. I think we're doing a pretty good job so far with the green, you know, the ideas and, and everything. And just compared to other cities, this is much more of a, you know, an impact I've been trying to make on uh, on cars than I have uh, in previously. So it's kind of fun. Anyway, I don't know where that just little segue came from, but... I will be doing some stuff dedicated solely for um, uh, for transit coming up, and just some side videos too. So if you guys are having transit issues, and like the little side episodes here aren't really enough, just something big is coming up soon, so I'll be able to help you guys out. But progressively, you guys will be transit superstars by the end of this, I promise. All right, so let's go across like this. Cool. And I might maybe run a bike path along the inside of this as well. We'll kind of see how that how that unfolds. And then my thought for this, just because of the whole space and time added to the roundabout, is we'll make the approach coming in here be a one way, and then we'll have another way to spill in and then go into the roundabout itself through here. And it should all make sense, hopefully, uh, when it's when it's all uh, said and done. So I would like that to come in, basically like that, and then that should be yep. Yeah. In the dream world, nothing will be too too sharp, too steep, too silly when it comes to angles and whatnot. And I would like. may not be able to do what I want here. Maybe a little bit further than this. Again, it'll kind of make sense when it's uh, when it's finished. And 
And we'll put that power line back in. So we'll do it right now, because I will forget. And then when I press play, I'll be like, hey, why is everyone moving out? All right, so the way in from the roundabout, and I, I would argue that that is a really nice little curve right here, especially if you're coming from this part, going in. I don't know why you would, just keep going from here. So why don't we even... Alright, so you come across right there, perfect. Still one way, one way, one way, great. Two way traffic right there. And then this needs to go in like this. I did like that, what we had before though. Let's turn off the road guidelines, see if we can get a little bit closer to a snap point there without having the hiccups of the road guidelines. Overtake us, great. Oh, they're great, yeah. Well, that's not too bad. So trams coming from this direction. They go in, turn right, enter the roundabout. We're keeping our bicycles and everyone kind of separate, so traffic should still flow really, really nicely through here. I'm gonna unfortunately have to, um, I was gonna stop sign, but I don't have the option. I was going to say, unfortunately, have to add a stop sign for our tram friends, but I can't even do that over here, so never mind. Maybe merging will be okay. All right, well, let's let's now watch how this would work with some trams going through it. So let's start doing some some routes. So we want for sure one from this direction. And I have um, yep, I know what I want to do. We're gonna make two tram lines here. So we're gonna have one start over here, go this direction. Let's do both sides of the park. This is gonna be a big park, so just in case you need to meet friends on the south side or north side or whatever. Stop here so you can access those places. And then we'll have a stop in here. Just to help maybe mitigate the uh, the traffic. I don't think I want to have a stop right in front of the station. Instead, we'll use this for our metro thing. And then we're going to continue through with this. And then we're going to head on over to here. And then because this one is just passing right on through, we're gonna have our other stop over here. And I, I honestly think it is close enough that people will still still walk if you're transferring from a metro and you want to take a tram this direction. But I'm also doing the stop over here just in case people just want to walk over to there. There we go. And we'll color the lines right afterwards. And then what I want to do for our second line so we'll go over here, is we'll head this direction. Oh, I just realized that. Did that just change its, so oh, it did. Or, did that always like that? Okay, I just feel like I suddenly lost my mind for a second, but we'll just we'll ignore that. Anyway, so up here, I want this one to go in and just end at the uh, uh, roundabout itself. So we'll stop here, just to encourage some line sharing. We'll stop right there, and then this one is going to leave. So we can have another stop right there, and head on back home. There we go, awesome. Let's color these. Get that cool minty frosty green color going. Not even close. Much better. Ooh, not bad at all. All right. 
new roots in. Oh, <laughs> so we just missed a fire. Oh dear. You know, someone commented that uh, in the last episode we didn't have a fire. We actually did. Uh, this part of the university burned down. It was just happening right at the very, very, very end of the episode. I don't know if you can maybe just barely see it. But I caught it right after I, I had stopped the recordings. And I was like, oh, for goodness sakes. But here we go. Wouldn't be an episode without a fire, right? And as we push into the hills, we're going to start using those fire watch towers. And that should help cut back on the uh, on the fires overall. And really what it is, is because we're so like darn close together with our trees that the fire just spreads extraordinarily quickly. Right? And the, the fire spreads from not only the tree to tree, but from tree to building. And so our poor fire department is getting extraordinarily taxed right here. But fast response time. Oh, goodness gracious me. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's put another fire station down. All right, so I did say I actually wanted to zone over here. So keeping with the mentality of trying to keep our... Uh, jobs close to where our people live. Let's put some of those down there, and it should also act as that buffer again for the um, uh, for the sound. Same kind of approach that we did up there. And if we actually look over there, we can probably see the um, uh, the results. So the sound obviously still does stretch over here. We have a lot of activity, right? But it should still be enough to keep people from complaining about the uh, the noise pollution. I think it's actually not that bad. That might look bad and scary, but I, I really, guys, it's not not too shabby there. Maybe if we put a few more trees in to help absorb some more of that. And then when it comes to the noise pollution, when you see that icon, those people will then have to go to a, a hospital or a clinic. So it just taxes your services. Nice, nice tall tower. So if we do see that popping up, instead of trying to combat it, we'll just maybe rezone it. But I'm still of the thinking that we are for, uh, far enough away, uh, ultimately, and because we're creating the buffer zones that we're okay too. All right, let's get some buses now up through here. And let's try and do an in-town little bus route that maybe starts at the M and only M Transit Hub. Maybe cuts around through here, stops off at some transfer points for some of the lines, and just kind of casually makes its way up over here. And before I forget too, I'd actually like to have a little bit of a walking path um, cut through. No, I think we're okay. Never mind. I, I take that back. We should be enough walking here. Okay. Why don't we try going in here? Oh, I was telling us that's a smarter way to do it, eh? Let's try this. Just so we can get some of the uh, people in Zachary Nolan Square using transit as well. Come through like this. The only downside to that approach is because that's a one way, how will people get back in? Hmm. You know, we're going to have to put that little thought, I think, on hold. And we'll come back to how we'll um, think about that one. Can, can that just say trams? Okay. And why don't we just uh, enter this uh, through our funnel of corkscrew right here? And the game plan was to get some buses uh, mixed in with this. And we'll just head on back down here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that route. Everything's just becoming green? Yeah. Beautiful. Now let's just take a second to uh, to watch and see how uh, how traffic behaves, how the people move. How this all works. 
I feel like a lot of the time, I just build all this stuff, then I forget to kind of take a look at it. We do these quick little flyovers at the end of the episodes, and then that's it. So what we can also do, too, is maybe mixed in between the building, we can do some showcase episodes. So yeah, maybe once we get a little bit more of the city pieced together, maybe like an episode or two, after that we can do a fun little showcase. Where, you know, it's like two, three minutes, we set it to music, I can kind of maybe pick some of my favorite neighborhoods, kind of have some cinematic stuff to go with it, follow some vehicles around. Yeah, this is great. Fun shapes, fun curves. Great to see that people are already using it, too. Alright, well, I did say earlier that I did want to try using some uh, unique buildings. I think up here would be kind of a fun spot. And then since we're going now so upwards with the height, why don't we drop, I think, a few of these in? Oh, that's a cool one, too. Let's have a tram exit back here. And this horrifying part will become a, uh, a tunnel. And let's make that a nice, long, smooth tunnel here. Oh, that looks great. And then let's get some high speed in and outs here. Oh, almost. Now, can we do this? Even if it's like tram only track. It has to be tribal track, am I saying? No, don't do this to me, come on. I'm positive we can get this to work. Bingo. Perseverance. Oops. A few too many catenary cables, but not the worst. And goodness gracious me, all these uh, camera angles here. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. Merging looks okay there, too. Alright, now let's have another little side road come back here and try and drop down another one of those really tall buildings. Let's see what the dimensions are first. Oh, okay, actually, that kind of fits. It fits rather nicely in there already. A bit of a slope issue right there. No, you know what? I think this is going to be better served maybe at our true downtown by the water's edge. I want to say is this is like uptown. So, like, I want when the city's all done, we're going to be looking at it from, like, the water's perspective upwards. And down at the water will be downtown, this will be uptown, and then this is going to be, like, the center of uptown, which is why it's a little bit higher density, and we got, like, a bit more of the transit kind of focus happening here. And I think in between is going to be a lot of housing, and we'll have uh, a little bit of housing suburbia kind of go through here. And I know that's, um, not overly efficient to necessarily start going outward when it comes to our zoning. We should be going upwards, but I do want to maybe try and just incorporate some green thoughts into, into suburban city planning, or some ways to maybe convert suburbia into uh, into green. Because I mean, a lot of cities these days are not necessarily being like a lot of them are being rebuilt, right? It's not necessarily we're building new cities. So a lot of American cities, especially in Canadian cities too, or ones I'm used to dealing with, have lots of uh, you know suburbs. So how can you get transit working better with there? How can you get more community feel and vibes? And oh, for goodness sakes, this fire is either still burning or this is a brand new one altogether. My oh my. Anyway, so I'm, I'm really excited for the long-term plans uh, for this city. And I think it is starting to really come together nicely too. All right, let's get some of these rows connected. 
But of course, you guys, <clears throat> pardon me, you guys let me know your thoughts. So comment section, help me out, let me know. Am I in the right right ballpark with this? You're all gonna unsubscribe now and be like, oh no, he's, he's abandoning the green ideas. No, I'm not, don't worry. Yeah, it's not bad, I like this height better. <clears throat> All right, now I did say I wanted to use a few more things, especially over here, so let's let's do that before the episode ends. Hmm. Oh! This, oh, right. This is awesome. I actually have not placed this yet. This comes with the Green Cities DLC. If this works right in the middle here, that'll be killer. One, two, three, four. No, it doesn't quite fit. I cannot resist looking at this right now. So let's expand this. Oh, that's magnificent. Look at that Coliseum, it's beautiful. Amphitheater Rondo, I like that. Wow, this is great. This is a really nice park. And we'll have our bike lane and bike street kind of go across the outskirts here. Chance for some zoning on that end for some parking lots potentially. That's cool. Okay, not what I was looking for, but holy heck, that was nice. Back over to here. And then another thing I want to think about too is where are we going to put our concert ground? It'd be kind of fun to have a, a festival area in the city, right? Yeah, maybe over here we can get a, um, a statue in. Right, statue well for uh, Kieran Corner. And then maybe we can get... Yeah, there we go. Let's move that one back so we get uh, a little bit of space as well. Nice. Okay, let's get some trees in here. And really, if we're using so many condos around here, it's not like they have a backyard, right? So we have to be providing these parks here. Otherwise, we're doing a bad job as, uh, as mayors. Now, let's use... Um... I have an idea with this. Just to get some color in here. So let's look really nice, I think, from the, uh, from the overhead. And if you do happen to live in a condo, this is so nice. Just to look down and see all these, you know, colorful trees and flower gardens and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Oh, see, like that's great. See, look at that little flyover. I love that. That is grand. All right, what can we put over here? Let me save this. I'm not opposed to that as a starter. Lungs of the city, beautiful idea. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Can't seem to connect to that, but I, I bet you if I were to go right next to it, it would it would connect. Okay, so armed with that knowledge, maybe we can sneak another pathway in through here. Nope. But we can probably go around it. So now you can see why it's good that we put the, uh, the transit stops through here, right?
And just to get a little bit of biking in through the, the park as well, let, let's do this. Let's run this right alongside. Dirt path second, bike path first. Let's go right to that spot that had that hole. Okay, works for me. Now, maybe one more little something something can be put in here. Oh, I'm gonna lose that pathway, but I love it. Little spot for the uh, this little playground right here. Oh, dog park. Oh, that's nice. Can't forget our four-legged friends. Yep. Isn't that cold still connects right there. I wish we could get inwards with that same kind of approach. All right, let's put some trees down and let's, uh, yeah, I think we'll call an episode after that. A fun mix of everything. I still want to take a little bit of a look over at the stuff we built too. So here we are, back to back long episodes. I have a lot of comments say there's totally not a problem doing that, so that's good. Honestly, I'm, guys, I'm really enjoying the series. Like it's really, the city is really coming to life here. I think we have a lot of fun new ideas happening. And I'm very excited, I know it's still like a ways off, but I'm very excited to see the transformation when we start using mods. Like I've got, it'll be a slow process, so in case you guys are a little, I don't want to say intimidated, but if the modding kind of confuses you or it just seems like it's too much, we'll start slow. And then you'll kind of see how it's just like, it's like it's like opening the floodgates. All of a sudden you're like downloading le mods left, right, and center, and like custom everything, and holy smokes. It's just like moving up through levels with the game. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with vanilla. You can have thousands of hours of fun with vanilla. You just might get to a point where you're like, oh, I wish the game had this, or I wish it just had... And you start, you know, scouring through the uh, the workshop, and sure enough, you'll pretty much find find the things you're after. But you'll see. But that, that's, that's down the road. Yes, maybe a little bit of commercial in here. My friends, I think we will uh, end things off here. Let's go take a look at what we've done. Loving this out of nowhere. This just turned out to be very, very nice. Nice little addition to the city. Some future growth in here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, actually, that's fantastic. Crematorium. That solves our issues. Hang on a second here. Holy smokes, this is the like best unlock. Yes. Uh, what I would like to do, and I know we're destroying a house for this, and I know I said we were going to be done, but we're going to be done, but we're not. When I click empty, it's going to start sending the hearses out. I want them to not have to fight too much with traffic. So they're literally just going to turn right, turn right, they're there. Done. No problem. So that approach is good for emptying cemeteries. Once the cemetery is empty, we can think about maybe removing some and then relocating the um, uh, the building. Same idea for right over here. So we'll do maybe two for the moment, just so we don't get too bogged down. I do realize that one is full. But we don't want to just overwhelm the system here. So let's just still try and do some death care pickup. Just this one's out of the out of the mix right now. Okay, back to what we're looking at. And then garbage also. Goodness, so many things here. So right away I see a lot of people, you know, using their bikes, they're walking, taking transit, going to visit here. The merging looks pretty smooth. This is kind of fun, just seeing all the transit vehicles go through, right? Any buses on our on our bridge? Not yet. That's just kind of cool. I think maybe this possibly could be brought up just so it's level, but... Here's the bus coming. I like that nonetheless, though. Yes, yeah, this is a pretty nice, uh, nice improvement. I liked the last episodes. I love this one even more. Alright friends, well I'll see you again. Thanks for hanging out with me, and especially with the longer, extra long one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, and let me know what your thoughts are on doing the showcases. 
because I think maybe like every five or ten episodes we can do a little showcase and kind of see where we go from there. All right, guys, all the best. Look forward to reading the comments. Happy building, and I'll see you again. Thank you.